since the establishment of their diplomatic relations in 1956. These relations are based on mutual respect, understanding, solidarity, and good political will. Japan is a solid partner of Tunisia, since it contributed regularly to its economic development by financing many strategic projects in our country. In this regard, I must thank, on behalf of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the Japanese International Cooperation Agency, JICA, and to the Japanese government for their contribution to the development of Tunisia and precious financial and technical assistance since 1975. Dear France, it is important to institutionalize bilateral relations and prevent regular exchange of information and ensuring regular participation in international affairs and exhibitions organized in both countries. Actually, our ability to achieve these common objectives is enhanced by our continued cooperation and coordination. I'm addressing to professionals and prominent businessmen convinced by the necessity to develop economic and commercial ties and seize all the opportunities in order to increase their capabilities to access to new markets. Tunisia attaches great importance to foster the, the bounds of friendship and cooperation with Japan. We are ready to offer a more productive partnership, especially in the economic field, and set up a relation of win to win, beneficial for both countries. I wish you all a very successful seminar and fruitful discussion. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Alpi, uh, for this uh, speech. Uh, now we, we welcome uh, Mr. Yu Yuishiko Kanai, the head of the Japanese delegation and Depu Deputy General Manager of Jeto Paris. Mr. Abdelhazem Pasek Kami, Director General of Foreign Investment Promotion Agency. Uh, Your Excellency, Mr. Shinsuke Shimizu, Ambassador of Japan to Tunisia, Mr. Adel Eraldi, Director of, uh, Director of Asia, Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Tunisia, uh, Mr. Eddie Ben Nabes, President of the uh, Tunisian Japanese Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you, for very, thank you very much for coming today to Japanese Tunisian Business Seminar. I am Yoshihiko Kanai. Deputy Director of JETRO, Japan External Trade Organization in Paris. Paris. I'd like to speak on behalf of uh, our Director General, Mr. Kataoka, uh, who sincerely regrets not being able to read uh, this Japanese company's mission to Tunisia, organized by JETRO for the first time. And let me uh, please start by expressing my sincere gratitude to Mr. Gami, uh, General, Director General of Keeper and to His Excellency Mr. Shimizu, Ambassador of Japan, for their precious assistance in building this, pre this promising three days mission. This time, our delegation has 18 people from eight different countries. And we have today 12 companies operating in a wide variety of sectors, infrastructure, energy, industrial machinery, steel industry, but also pharma, healthcare industry, services, and logistics. And we are also pleased to count among us the major trading companies in Japan. The variety of sectors reflect the growing interest of Japanese business in Tunisia. Following a long period of observation and investigation, Japanese companies are gradually taking actions and looking for more specifically business opportunities in Africa. Our office in Paris regularly uh, receives inquiries from Japanese companies about African markets and their potential innovation. And Tunisia is no exception. We know that 
Tunisia enjoys a strong presence of a su supplier in high-tech industry, in, term, in particular automotive components, electronics, and ICT. The manufacturing industry in Tunisia is renowned for its high-skilled engineers and the abundance of a highly qualified workforce. workforce. This point attracts the attention of Japanese companies. In addition to this, a very innovative and competitive startups have recently emerged in Tunisia. Since 2018, Jetro has invited four Tunisian startups to business events in Japan in the fields of ICT, robotics, and Avitex. And also on last November, three Tunisian companies participated in the seminar focused on modern startups uh, organized by Jetro in Paris. Such the attractiveness and dynamism of Tunisia made us to decide to run this first single mission following the signing of the MOU between Jetro and FIFA uh, last August with the occasion of a ticket in Yokohama. I hope that uh, this first concrete cooperation would be enriching for the all participants and would be make great business opportunities for both Japanese and Tunisian companies. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Mr. Kanai, for your kind words. So now, uh, last but not least, I give the floor to Mr. Hedi Benabes, President of the Tunisian Japanese Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Thank you so much. Um, Excellency Ambassador Shimizu, Sun, I would say. Uh, Honorable General Manager of Jetro, but he's not here, Mr. Kataoka. Uh, Honorable Representative of Jetro, Honorable Representative of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Abdelmaz, my friend uh, and collaborator. Thank you all for coming. Um, it is certainly a great pleasure for me, for the first time, uh, as, as the president of the Tunisian Japanese Chamber of Commerce and Industry, to welcome you all here on this unique occasion to meet here in Tunisia uh, with such an important business delegation. I'm not going to speak about the business environment in Tunisia. The speakers will certainly do it better than I do. I would like to tell you that you are most welcome, not as business opportunity for Tunisia, but as friends who pay a visit to their distant friends on this land of Hannibal, who few kilometers from here, um, on this very place on the shores of Carthage, decided to head north in order to overcome the, all the upheavals fighting back Roman hegemonic strategies. More than 2,000 uh, years later, we are now here from this very place, opening a new promising era, looking for prosperity and mutual development, heading southward, deep into Africa, this land of plenty and growth, to meet another challenge. This, this time it is a commercial challenge against a hegemonic giant, and I think that you, you, you know what I'm talking about. And we want you, our Japanese friends, to join us and share with us this promising business perspectives to conquer peacefully new business territories in Africa and beyond using Carthage as a platform. Dear guests and friends, why we Tunisians in this historical period are looking for Japan and Japanese business community to be with us? The answer dates back to the early days of the revolution in 2012, when we were, and still are, full of hope and energy, asking ourselves which development model shall we put in place? The answer came as obvious as daylight, the Japanese model. It is obvious because it, it evolves around basic principles built upon the reconciliation between tradition and modernity, and uh, values of, of patriotism, resilience, discipline, 
hardworking, efficiency, and prosperity for all. We in Tunisia are looking forward to implementing those values because we know that it is possible, as you Japanese have been uh, showing the way for decades now. Japanese quality and know-how, along with the above mentioned values, are the secret of success. And our ambition here in Tunisia is to share these values with you and be reliable partners to you. Dear guests and friends, today is the very first day the newly elected government takes office. And I wish it would be also be the dawn of a strategic partnership between Tunisia and Japan. Tunisia is building its democracy on solid soil. The edifice is not yet finished, but it is promising. The challenge is huge, but we made the choice to meet this challenge as Hannibal once did, as you, Japanese people, did it throughout your glorious history. Japan has always, and still is, on the side of Tunisia. We know it. Supporting us on a number of different levels. And we are so grateful to you and to your great nation and your great people. We count on you as you can count on us. We are ready to work with you hand in hand to win the ongoing commercial race in Africa. As you, as you will find here in Tunisia, qualified human resources, re reliable infrastructure, infrastructure sorry, and a business-oriented legal frame. Dear Japanese guests and friends, you would be right to choose Tunisia as a strategic partner. You would be right to put trust in you, in us, sorry. You would be right to come and settle on the shores of, uh, of Carthage. Three different examples will certainly convince you about the new dawn in our Tunisian-Japanese relationship. TICAT 8, you mentioned, Excellency, a huge and historical major event. Kaizen Excellency platform that we would like to create today in Tunisia is another. And JetRu Paris business delegation is once again a very good example of this new relationship. <coughs> Three examples that constitute for us Tunisians new opportunities to meet the trust you placed in us and to build up and cement our strategic partnership. Dear guests and friends, in December 23rd, 2018, sorry, we created, sorry, 2014, we created the Tunisian Japanese Chamber of Commerce and Industry on the very day of His Majesty former Emperor Akihito's birthday. Because we believe and we still believe that the business community needs to be uh, uh, supported. Uh, 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 by such business-oriented body as part of the much-needed strategic partnership with Japan. We have been ever since trying to secure a genuine and fruitful partnership with Japanese business representatives, and I would like to extend my special thanks, really special thanks, to Mr. Katao Kasan and his Jetro Paris team Mrs. Watanabe is one of them, uh, for having organized on January 24, 2018, a meeting in Paris where we were given the opportunity to present a document entitled, and Mr. Kim will appreciate this, Tunisia, the other gateway to Africa. And I think that today's visit is part of the efforts Jetro Paris is making to promote Tunisia as a land of business opportunities and a strategic focal point in Africa. As I would like to extend my thanks to JICA and, uh, and its president and, and his team for their constant effort to strengthen Tunisian-Japanese bilateral cooperations. We, board members of the Tunisian-Japanese Chamber of Commerce and Industry, here present, the whole team is present, 
we are ready to provide you with any information you need and answer whatever questions you have in relation to business environment in Tunisia. We will be with you throughout this visit and please feel free to share with us your opinions and uh, interrogations. Dear guests and friends, I cannot end this welcoming word, an introductory word, without extending a heartfelt and special tribute to His Excellency Ambassador Shimizu San for all what he has done so far. I want to pay tribute to him for having done his best to upgrade Tunisia and Japan bilateral relations to a strategic level and for his relentless efforts to highlight Tunisia as a reliable partner for Japan. We already owe you a lot. A newspaper article stated last week, and I quote the title of this newspaper article, it goes like this. His Excellency Shinzuki Shimizu, the diplomat who promotes Tunisia. That was the title. We cannot be more honored than that for being promoted by you, Excellency. You are more than an ambassador. You are, our, you are a friend of Tunisia now. Thank you, my friend. Thank you all. Thank you for being here. And have a fruitful seminar. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ben Abbas. I want to thank also His Excellency, Mr. Shimizu, uh, Mr. Kanai, and Mr. Larbi uh, for this uh, session. Now I give uh, the floor to our general manager, Mr. Hani. Thank you all, Excellencies, dear guests. Uh, now uh, we uh, we are going to uh, to uh, pass to the session one. Uh, so I call Mr. Elias Jiribi and Mr. Bassam Lukil to join the podium. Uh, now we are entering the first session, business and environment, uh, investment environment in Tunisia. Uh, there are three speakers in this session, and uh, uh, question and uh, answer session. Uh, we will have a uh, question and time session uh, after the all presentation. All presentation. So uh, first, uh, I would invite Mr. Uh, Gami, Director General of FIPA. Uh, Mr. Gami, please start uh, your presentation. This 
distinguished guests, so we'll open the uh, first session, which uh, will be dealing with the business environment in Tunisia. And as an introduction, we'll try to, uh, to go through the main assets of Tunisia, which make Tunisia a favorable uh, business uh, uh, destination for foreign direct investment. And also in terms of geographical position, in terms of the availability of skilled labor force, the business friendly prevailing in Tunisia, and also the access, but I will leave uh, Mr. Bassem to focus on the uh, gate, Tunisia as a gateway to Africa, so uh, I will be mainly focusing on other uh, aspects. <coughs> in this slide, as you can see, to, uh, Japan has a strong presence in Tunisia. Maybe the number of companies is not so, so big. If we look, we have 13 companies, but it's in terms of quality of Japanese investment. So as you can see here, many, uh, we, uh, they are providing jobs to over 5,000 people, and it's a huge investment of over 345 uh, million Tunisian dinars. It's very important to look at Japan as one of the main partners of Tunisia in terms of foreign investment. So we are very happy to see big companies. Uh, I mentioned some of them, Yazaki, Sumitomo, YTK, and Fujikora, which will be joining the list of one of the biggest uh, Japanese companies, mainly in the uh, automotive component sector. But it's very important to see the quality of Japanese investment uh, present in Tunisia. Here to show you that Japanese investments are spread all over the country, from the north to the south, from the east to the west. This shows uh, and reflects the commitment of Japan really to help Tunisia. And as you can see, Japan is well engaged with an inclusive development in Tunisia. So the presence of Yazaki in the south of Tunisia in Gapsa is a good sign, I think. Sumitomo also in the northwest of Tunisia. These are priority areas in Tunisia which we are looking really to attract more and more foreign investment in our country. It's very significant to see the presence of Japan, of Japanese investment in our country, and we are really happy to deal on a daily basis. We are dealing with Japanese requests and with companies which are looking to develop their business in our country. Proximity and PSS is one of the main assets of Tunisia. As I mentioned, I won't give you more details. I will leave it to my uh, friend, uh, Mr. Luki. But to, to say that Tunisia has access to major markets. Reliable, reliable logistics. We can't speak about exports from Tunisia if we don't have the right infrastructure, the right logistics. And we are very happy. If, if you look to the companies uh, producing in Tunisia, we, are, we have over 3,400 foreign companies in different sectors. Uh, most of them, I think two-thirds of them, are working for the export. And it's very important. Most of them, they are working just in time. So they are supplying OEM manufacturing based all over the world, and in particular in to Europe. And we, are, we have, unless the, criti the critics will related to logistics, but we are happy to say that in Tunisia you can produce and you can deliver in short lead time. It's very important. Three to four days you can export your products to any parts in north of Europe. Dedicated 